Hi, I'm Rang and Bowman. I'm here in Paris with The Vibe magazine. Big up. Have we come to? No. No. Have we come to? The bitter end. Have we come to? No pretend. Have we come to? The bitter end. I grew up on soul music and, um, and it kind of affected every aspect of music for me, um, like lyrics and you know the way I sing, the way we put songs together, and um, I guess like funk is a backbone. You know, uh, I like Sly and the Family Stone and um, stuff like Gap Band, and uh, yeah, they kind of just interlink and run through you know, every, all, all, all the kinds of music I make, so, um, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, so, um, well, I, I moved to Brighton, um, I guess like 10 years ago, and um, I kind of, the reason I moved to Brighton was uh, to follow music, because there's not really much music going on where I lived, and, um, there's kind of a, a, a big hip hop and jungle scene in, in Brighton. And uh, I, I used to go out, rock up to open mics and just rap and people would get up and DJ. And I just met different producers and rappers and DJs. And we put a crew together called Rum Committee because we all like rum and, uh, and we all like rap music. So, yeah. you know, we put this crew together and uh, made an album put the album out and then um, kind of all the big hip hop acts that will come to Brighton, we got on support. So we supported like Ferro Munch and like De La Soul and you know, all the great hip hop acts come and we support them. And we did little tours and stuff, uh, crazy drinking and shit. So yeah, um, but it was a good time, you know, and I, and I still see him, still see him now. Well, I've always sung, but um, I guess like, I still enjoy writing rap lyrics now and um, hopefully at some point I'll put out a rap album or a, a project of some kind but um, I just felt like my heart was in singing more and I wanted to put together songs in a kind of classic way sitting down at piano and building those songs from there onwards you know rather than writing to a beat and being restricted to that one thing you know. It was an amalgamation of all the things that I love, you know, hopefully you can hear it in the music. Um, so like all the stuff that I grew up on, whether it's like John Lee Hooker or like Aaron Peebles or Al Green and then like all the great hip hop I've listened to um, and hopefully my aim is that for someone listening they can hear all of those parts. It is, so, yeah. Okay. <laughs> mm. Hmm. That's crazy. There's so many good ones. Probably like well, you have to say Beyonce, really, because who? Yeah, that'd be crazy, right? Any, I mean, she's not gonna say yes, but you know, if you're listening. I mean, <laughs> But yeah, Beyonce would be cool. Okay. Um, hopefully good songs. Um, because like through, throughout um, like the processes of writing the songs to the production of the songs, whether they're like a ballad or whether it's like a big kind of, you know, hip hop sounding Thing that you know when you play it live it's big but when you play it just on a piano is it still a good song mm -hmm. and like hopefully with all the songs it doesn't matter what the production is like if you play it like that just you and that instrument if it's still a good song then 
but it's worked. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Have we come to